And this video is 8.3 trigonomic integrals. So here we have the guidelines for evaluating integrals involving powers of sine and cosine. When the power of sine is odd and positive, save one factor for du and convert the remaining factors to cosines, then use u as cosine. When the power of cosine is odd and positive, save one of these for du and convert the remaining for cosine to cosines and then let u equal sine. And then when the powers of both sine and cosine are even and non-negative, make use of the formulas sine squared and cosine squared. These are also called the um, like a double angle uh, formula. I think if you're using the one sheet that's in the book, it is, oh, under power reducing formulas. So there's those formulas there. So I may use them later if need be. So example one has this problem here. Now you notice this exponent is three and this exponent is four. So the sine has the odd exponent. So we're basically going to separate this and kick one sign out to use for dx later. So this is gonna come in handy. The remaining signs I need to convert to cosines. And we can use our Pythagorean idea, identity, one minus cosine squared x is the same as sine squared. Now you do wanna save this for du later. So when I distribute here, I'm only going to distribute the cosine to the fourth power. To make sure I have room here, I'm gonna go this way. So I get cosine to the fourth power minus cosine to the sixth power, and then sine x dx off to the side. So here we're gonna let u equal cosine x, and then dx would be, or I'm sorry, du, derivative of cosine is negative sine x dx. So negative du will replace the sine x dx that we have there. So this integral will become, this is just my side work, right? So this will become the integral of u to the fourth minus u to the sixth times a negative du. So I'm gonna put my negative out here in the front. Then if I integrate this, I get negative u to the fifth over five minus u to the seventh over seven and then of course your plus c now i'm going to distribute this negative so this term will become negative this term will become positive and i'd prefer my positive term in the front now i do need a back sub for u so u was cosine of x so this should be cosine to the seventh power of x over seven minus cosine to the fifth power of x over five plus c. And now I have completely integrated this particular problem. So if we wanna go ahead and move on to the next example, let's see what we have here. Okay, example two is on the next page. So for example two, we have cosine cubed in the numerator and we have the square root of sine down in the denominator. So here you have a square root. Now square root means that the power is one half. So that's neither considered odd or even. You can't use that um, in our substitution methods. So what we're gonna wanna do is take one of these cosines and save that later. Here we're gonna have pi over six, pi over three, we're gonna have a cosine squared x, and down here I'm gonna write sine to the one half power x instead of the square root. And then here's the extra cosine, and then the dx. So the rest of the cosines have to be converted into sines. So we are going to have one minus sine squared x over sine to the one half x and then times your cosine x dx 
So let's see here. We're going to separate this fraction. We're going to put 1 over this and this sine squared over that denominator. When I do that, I'm going to go ahead and simplify the powers too. 1 over sine to the 1 half will become sine to the negative 1 half. And then sine squared over sine to the 1 half will give me sine to the 3 halves x. And I still have, I'm running out of room here, but I still have multiplied times cosine x dx. So for my side work, I'm going to let u equal sine x, and then du is going to be cosine x dx. This is just side work. So my integral will become u to the negative one half minus u to the three halves and then just du because this entire thing was represented by du. So if I apply my, apply my power rule, I get u to the one half times two over one minus u to the five halves times two over five plus c. If we simplify that and back substitute, we end up with the square root 2 times the square root of sine x minus 2 fifths times sine x, the square root of sine x to the fifth power. Oh, and I made a mistake here. I shouldn't have uh, put plus c because it is a definite integral. Plus c is only used for indefinite integrals. So here I should have had the notation to evaluate this expression for x equal to pi over 6 to x equal to pi over 3. Now I am running out of room here, so I'm going to try to squeeze this in. Um, so I have 2 times the square root of and sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2 minus 2 fifths square root of 3 over 2 to the fifth power minus 2 and sine of pi over 6 is just 1 half. So square root of 1 half minus, actually a negative and a negative will be plus 2 fifths square root of 1 half to the fifth. Now here they usually want you to give it in decimal form, so let's make sure we plug this in here correctly. So I'm going to go one term at a time. So I'm going to type in 2 square root and then square root of 3, get out of that house, divided by 2, get out of that house. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the first term. Now I'm going to do the second term. Minus 2 fifths parentheses, square root, square root of 3, get out of the little house, divided by 2, get out of the big house, close it, raise it to the fifth power. Then I'm going to do the third term, minus 2, square root of 1 divided by 2, hit enter, plus 2 fifths, square root, oh, I forgot my parentheses. Oh man, I messed up. Okay, plus 2 fifths parentheses square root of 1 half. Get out of the house. Raised to the fifth power. And I get um, 0 0.2. Usually they have you round it to four decimal places. So 2, 3, 8, 5. And this is what they want as the final answer inside WebAssign. Okay.
for example, three, we notice that there are an even number of cosines and no uh, sines at all. So what we want to do is first rewrite this as cosine squared of 2x squared. We need a square so that we can apply the power reducing formula. The power reducing formula only applies to squares, okay? So we needed to break up the fourth power into this squared. If this was a sixth power, this would be a third exponent. If this was an eighth power, this would be a fourth exponent. But you need the inside to have the square. So when I plug this in here, notice whatever the angle is here, when you apply the formula, you get double that angle. So since I have 2x here, when I apply this rule, I'm going to get 4x inside of the new um, function. So what I'm going to end up with is 1 plus cosine double that, so 4x over 2, and then of course squared. Now if I factor out the 1 half, I just have 1 plus cosine of 4x squared. So if I FOIL that out, I end up with 1 plus 2 cosine of 4x plus cosine squared of 4x. And then I have a square again, which means I will need to apply that rule again. So again, if I apply the rule again, whatever here is on my square, when I apply the rule, it's going to be double that. So this is going to become 1 plus cosine of 8x over 2 dx. So then I have um, 1 half, and then I have... This is 1 plus a half, which is going to give me 3 halves, plus 2 cosine of 4x, plus cosine of 8x times a half, dx. So if I use u substitution here for 4x, du is going to be 4dx, which means du over 4 is going to replace the dx there when I do that one. Um, and then same thing here, I don't want to use u because I already used u, I'll use w is going to be 8x and then dw would be 8dx. So if I want to replace that, I'm going to have to use dw over 8 to replace the dx. So when I'm done integrating, I will end up with 3 halves x plus 2 over 4 and the integral of cosine is sine plus um, the 8 will be down there so 1 16th and the integral of cosine is sine 8x and of course my plus c because this one was an indefinite now if I distribute my uh, two, one half here, I get 3 over 4x plus 1 and 2, 1 over 4 sine of 4x plus 1 over 32 sine of 8x plus c. And it was an indefinite integral. So I did not have to um, apply any of my, um, plugging in any evaluation parts. So this is the end of this particular example.